All right, Tony's here. We've got the sport. Actually, another positive story because this is about very a much. young woman who's really come got to grips with things now after a very, very difficult oh, time. Exceptionally, when you think it's some of the things that life throws at you, and that this has been a, a really, really tough time, but shows how sport can can be the hope for some, yeah. um, you know, to, to better their lives, improve their lives and give them great prospects potentially. First up tonight we have the story of Lisa Chapman. She's from Poole, is 36 years old and is aiming for the Paralympics. But she's going to need plenty of help to get there. Even a talented Paralympic hopeful doesn't automatically get funding from UK sport. So she's working hard to prove she can be good enough for Tokyo. Overcoming the odds though is something she's proved pretty good at. Lisa Chapman has a sporting target back in her sights, this time holding a rifle. She grew up as a talented trampolinist, winning world age group titles in 1994. But at the age of 20, Lisa, who's been a model and worked in PR, suffered a broken neck in a car crash. The effects of the crash have been life-changing, leaving Lisa with a serious brain and spinal condition called Chiara malformation. She was at her lowest ebb in recent years. I was effectively bedbound for two years. I was asleep for 22 hours a day. I was in so much pain that I couldn't really do anything. And it wasn't until February last year when I had an operation up in Birmingham um, where they put a valve into my spinal cord which reduced the pressure around my brain and spinal cord that I've actually been able to live more of a normal life. Gaining advantage of her new freedoms after surgery, Lisa tried out wheelchair football and then found some promise in shooting. Lisa's ability stood out quickly. At a talent identification day, she made it from a thousand hopefuls down to the last 12. And then she was one of only two selected for the British programme. Now she's got to fund her Tokyo dream. Everyone has been amazing, absolutely amazing. We did a sponsored shoot here at Hearn Rifle and Gun Club um, and everyone was brilliant, everyone was rallying around. We have a GoFundMe page which people have been donating to. Everyone has been so kind. Lisa's dog Kobe is never far from her side. He's training to be a qualified assistant dog. If I fall out of my chair, he will go and get someone to help. Um, he picks things up off the floor for me, he opens doors, light switches, and the best of all, he takes my duvet off. What would it mean to go to the Paralympics then? Oh, it would be my dream. Absolute dream. Tokyo, just to be able to travel there and be part of the atmosphere and to compete with other people in what I've been through, to even contemplate doing that is just out of this world, completely out of this world. Yeah, great to meet Lisa and uh, the dog Kobe and we'll follow her progress and hopefully she will be in Tokyo come next year.